In this video, we are going to see how to send WhatsApp messages on status update in Google Sheet. So let's say that in your spreadsheet, you have got certain data and here I can take an example of visa status update. So you have got the applicants, their details and every time a status update happens, what you want is that applicant should receive a WhatsApp message. So here you will have to do an integration between the two applications to do the same. Interact is a platform which helps you in sending WhatsApp messages. Now, how can this be done? So this can be done using Public Connect where your trigger application would be Google Sheets and your action application would be Interact. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that, here we have reached a landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply click on sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab sign up. It won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in. And as I do that, here we have reached the All Applications page. Let's click on Access now for Pabli Connect. As we do that, here we have reached the dashboard of the application. Again, on the right hand side, you can see a tab Create Workflow. Let's click on this. And a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here my objective is that I have got a spreadsheet where every time the status is updated, I want to send a WhatsApp message. Let's say that I have got the status of visa update. So I have got the name of all the users who have applied and then their email address, mobile number, etc. Now every time the status of their visa application changes, I want them to be notified through a WhatsApp message. So I'm I'm going to name it as send WhatsApp message on status update in Google Sheets. Let's click on create. So as we do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger this when this happens. Action says do this. Basically, action here is the response of your trigger application. So now here my Trigger application would be Google Sheets. Let's click on this. Now the trigger event is the event that is going to make my workflow run. So here it would be new or updated spreadsheet row. So here we have received a webhook URL which is going to act as a bridge for connecting Pabli Connect with Google Sheets. I'm going to copy this. Now to set up this connection, we have to follow the following steps. Please read this carefully. I'm going to show you what we have to do. So here I already have created a sheet. The name is visa status update and we have the following column fields, passport number, name, email address, mobile number and visa status. Now here, now here I have created a drop down. How? So let me show you. So when I say it is visa status and as I right click on it, it is showing me an option for drop down and here so first of all, the range. Now here, the range would be, this is column F2. This is cell number F2, right? When I put a drop down, so this is how I select my range. Now the criteria here is drop down. Now here you can name the options, just like I have named them as document received, pending verification, document submitted, document verified and process completed. So you can name this. And I'm going to close, okay? So I'm just going to delete this one. So here you can see that a column would be created like this. Now we have to go to extensions. There we will find add-ons. We have to go to get add-ons. Now here we have reached Google Workspace Marketplace. Here I'm going to look for Pabli Connect webhooks. So this is the application and here you can see that it has already been installed on my system. So you have to make sure that first you install it, then you have to close this box and then you have to refresh the page. This is mandatory. And once you have refreshed this, we are going to wait for a few seconds and then we are going to go back to extensions and you would be able to see Pebbly Connect webhooks. And here we have to go to initial setup. Now here you can see that the system has already captured the name of the sheet and this webhook URL that we had received to Pabli Connect, I'm going to copy this, go back to the Google Sheet and paste this over here. Then comes the trigger column. So the trigger column is the final data column where the data is added and here in this particular sheet it is column E. So I'm going to write E here. Let's click on send 
test and as I do that here we can see that the test data has been sent successfully and now I click on submit so the configuration is all set once this is done we go to extensions public connect webhooks and here you can see that the send on event has been checked so there's a tick mark right in front so please click on this so that this is checked otherwise every time the workflow runs it would it would not be able to send the response so once this is done taking you back to public connect and here you can see that yes we have received the api response this is the visa status then we have the trigger column spreadsheet name spreadsheet id sheet name sheet id row index passport number name mobile number and email address now once we have received this so here my objective is that i want to send a message on whatsapp regarding the visa update status but i have multiple status here so i'm going to choose a router so router here is a feature by Pabli that helps you to put conditions and here I'm going to put different conditions. So first of all, here we have the route one. I am going to rename it as visa status. Okay, now what is the status? So I've got different status document received pending verification. So here first I'm going to write document received. Okay. So once I have received this, I'm going to update this. So here you can see my root one has been renamed. Now I'm going to click on set filter and action steps as I do that. So here you can see that it has already selected the label, which is visa status document received. Now this should be equal to what document received. Okay. So if this value, the status of the visa is document received, then only this condition is going to continue. I'm going to click on save and send test request and it is going to show me what the condition is true. Why? Because here we have selected the status as document received. So here the condition is showing as true. So now here I'm going to add another action step and this time it would be interact. Let's click on this. Now interact is going to help us in sending WhatsApp messages. So the action event here would be send WhatsApp template message. Let's click on connect. And as we do that here, public connect is asking to connect itself with the interact account. I'm going to select add new connection. And now we have to provide a secret key to set up this connection. What is the secret key? First, you have to log into your interact account. I have already logged in and now you have to click on this hyperlink as I do that. Here you can see that this here is the secret key. I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect and paste this over here. Let's click on save. So once this is done here, you can see that Interact is connected with Pabli Connect. Now here we have to provide the country code, phone number, full phone number, template code name, etc. Here these three fields are related to phone number. So if you have the full phone number, which means that the number along with the country code just write it here. But if you do not have the country code with you, so first you can mention the country code here and then the phone number. So here we have received our number without the country code. So I'm going to mention my country code here plus nine one. And then here I'm going to map the phone number. How do I do this mapping? So as I click on this, it is going to show me the previous steps. So I'm going to go here and this here is the mobile number. This is how we map the information and why is mapping important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration because if I had written this manually, then every time the workflow would have run, it would have only taken the manually written data. That is why mapping is important. Now, I do not have to mention full phone number because I've already provided the phone number. Then comes the template code name. What are these templates? Templates are pre-written messages that can be sent on different platforms and here you can, you know, provide certain variables and then you don't have to write the message again and again. So they will be received by your user like a personalized message only. So I already have created a few templates in my interact account. I'm going to click on this hyperlink to show you the same. So here let's check out the active templates and yes, here I have created a template visa update status. Let me show you how we have to work on this. First of all, the language that has been selected here is English. Now here we have got an option of 
header so what is a header that goes along with your message it can be a text image video or document i have selected none then comes the body which is the text body so here it is written dear and then you can find a number within double curly braces comma your current visa status for your passport number another number is and then we have another number thank you for submitting the visa application with us and regards what are these numbers here these numbers are basically variables that can be changed with every message then we have the option of a footer i haven't chosen anything you could write if you wish to have a footer then the buttons so again we haven't selected call to action buttons if you want you can add the buttons and now the sample so i already have selected the sample and as i take you up here you can see this here is the template code i'm going to copy this and once this is copied, I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and here I'm going to paste the template code name. Now once this is done, then the language code. Since we have selected English, here we can see that the language code for English is EN. I'm just going to write EN over here. And then we have the header value. So we haven't selected any header, so I'm going to leave this blank. Now comes the body variable values. So here I'm going to first map the name. Then I'm going to map the passport number and then visa status. So let's click on this. I'm going to go to step one. And here, first of all, we need the name. So this here is the name. Let's put a comma. Then again, going here, we need the passport number. And then I need the status, visa status. And here it is. So once this is done, now comes the position of CTA button and value of variable in dynamic URL. Since we did not select CTA button, so I'm going to leave this blank. And now let's click on save and send test request. And here we can see that we have received the API response. And at the same time, we have received a message on WhatsApp. Let me show you the same. So yes, here we can see that we have received a message. Dear dummy name, your current visa status for your passport number this is document received. Thank you for submitting the visa application with us. So this was the first condition that we have put. I'm going to save this and now close. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone this step, which means I'm going to repeat this step. But now this time I'm going to put another condition. What is the second condition? The second condition here is pending verification. So now I am going to rename this and this time I'm going to write pending verification. And now let's click on update. So once this is done, I'm going to click on this and here here also I'm going to change the value which is pending verification. Okay. Now let's make it capital. And once this is done, I'm going to save this. I don't have to make any changes in the next step. Then I'm going to close this. Now I'm going to repeat the same step for the next three status. So let me clone this. First I'm going to delete this. Okay. And then I'm going to clone this step. Again, clone the step and once again. Okay, now I'm going to rename everything. So first of all, let's go to this. What is the next status? So the status is document submitted. So let me write document submitted and let's click on update. Once done, here, I'm going to change the same for the condition here. Document submitted. Okay. So, once this is done, let's click on save. And now I'm again going to close this. Here, let's rename this. So, what is this now? So, this here is document verified. So, I'm going to name it as document verified okay i'm just going to copy this update now i'm going to click on this and here i'm going to change the value which is document verified let's click on save done 
Now for the last step, again I'm going to first rename this. Okay. And what is the last update process completed? So here I'm going to write process completed. And now I'm going to click on update. So once this is done, I'm going to change the value, which is process com okay. process completed. Now let's click on save. I'm going to just check quickly for verified document verified if I had changed the name here. Let's close this and I'm just quickly going to check this once again. And yes, I had done it. So this is how I have set my workflow. Now I'm going to check if this works. For this, I'm going to go to my Google Sheet. And here I'm going to change this update. So I'm going to click on this and let's say that I've selected process completed. Okay, now as soon as this is done, what should happen? Automatically, I should receive a message on WhatsApp. And here you can see, yes, we have received the message. Dear demo user, your current visa status for your passport number. This is process completed. Thank you for submitting the visa application with us. So this basically means that our integration process is a complete success. Now I'm going to quickly show you what we have done. So here our trigger application was Google Sheets where the event was new or updated spreadsheet row. Then our action application was the router where we had put various conditions for different updates and then we had connected the same with Interact which is another application that helps in sending WhatsApp messages. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.